also was with nominated member of parliament Sonia Birdi who also spoke to Yvonne Okwaramatole about that incident and she started by asking her what her involvement or her interest was with the container that they was defending so bitterly. From URP, Moshimiwa Sonia Birdi joins us now to tell us more about the situation that has emerged following the emergence of that video. Moshimiwa, thanks for your time today. Could you tell us why you were there and why that particular container was of specific interest to yourself and Honorable Kiter? I certainly will. Thank you very much, Yvonne. How are you doing this evening? <laughs> Great, thank you. Good, Yvonne, um, it's very simple. The, the point was that lots of people had been calling me uh, regarding the corruption at um, the Weybridge. Okay? Um, you, we could, people could go at the Weybridge and get stuck for some certain reason or the other. Okay? Mm -hmm. What happened at that, that particular day, uh, which was yesterday, some of my friends called me and said that this is a problem again. Ever since I've come into Parliament, I've had so many complaints from so many people, including members of my community, saying that there's a problem from here and there. So this Weybridge thing had been a problem for a long time. And um, as we were in Navasha, as you heard from Mishma Keter, that we were together in Navasha. And it really bothered me. I said, Mishma Keter, no, I really don't know what to do about this because these people are asking for something very strange, which does not make sense. Can we find out what the problem is? So we tried to find out what the problem is and nobody was responding. And after three and a half, four hours when nobody was responding, we decided to go and find out what the problem was. Mm -hmm. My interest in this whole situation is the interest of the people of the country of Kenya. People might say, I mean, I know this thing has gone viral from the morning and it has not come out in the right fashion in any matter. It looks as if we people are saying we have become big-headed okay, because yeah. we're MPs. No, but I must justify. Please give me a moment to say yeah, something. Right. It's very wrong that media can come and, and scratch on you when you're standing for the rights of people. All right. It, it has come out really badly okay. and I must allow say... Me, allow I, me I to interject for a moment. Absolutely no problem. Mm -hmm. The reason why I'm standing here today is because of the rights of those individuals who are standing at Weybridge and other places. Okay. All right. Allow me to interject at this point because, as you say, the video has gone viral and those who have watched it take issue with the approach for both yourself and Moshimura Keter in getting there um, that the policemen felt bullied, harassed, the use of expletive language that yes. perhaps... Um, yes. I know Moshimura Keter has said that uh, he was emotional at the time. Yes. But um, do you condone his actions and indeed yours as opposed to people's opinions that uh, you went there to harass the officials? We, uh, we did not go there to ha harass the officials at all. In fact, I must say one thing that I actually appreciate the recording this police officer did. Because had he not recorded, we would have made a statement the next day, it would have not been in the media at all. It would not be news. All right, you say, um, had he not have recorded it, you'd have made a statement the next day. This yes. event happened yesterday, yes, but you did not make a statement no. until see, the video let came me out. Tell you, my dear Yvonne, huh? I am very happy. I had already, it was so important for me to get this out into the media. But I'm really happy the way this gentleman has brought that recording out. Because, first of all, we were upset. Because he started recording when he thought it was necessary. Okay? Mm -hmm. The whole thing has not been put out there. Why not? Why only those five minutes? All right. So let's talk about, and I think uh, this is the great one that comes out, and it's um, the involvement of and the name dropping as has come out from State House today. They're distancing themselves from this incident. They're saying Mr. Keter made a number of claims and he was basically doing nothing more than mm. name dropping. 
and that uh, leaders are reminded that the Constitution requires them to serve and demonstrate respect for the people. Um, and in fact, Manoa Sipisu says the presidency commends the public officers who resistant the apparent intimidation. I'd like your thoughts on that. Yvonne, why is the media not asking me where the problem is? Why are you guys asking me back, taking me back to the presidency? Why is the media not going and sorting out this situation in, at the wage bridge? Please tell me that. All right, so what is because, the situation there? Because we did I ask already, about no, no, your no, no, interest no, no, in this no, particular let, let case. Us put thing, let us put things in the right context. Eh? Mm -hmm. You talk about the presidency. You talk about MPs being pigs. You talk us about, you know, so many interesting things. Paka, in, the fact is that today, I cannot go into public without being called names. Mashibu, well, my I first question to you, though. I am standing for the right, right of people. And you know what? Mm -hmm. I respect Mishma Kiter because he stood with me. Okay. Right? So you condone so his actions? I am saying, look, dropping names, people do that. Who does not do that? Tell me who does not do that. Right? So you agree but that you standing, didn't name drop? Who is standing for the rights of the, those people? Tell me that.